Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been since state since I actually uploaded a video, but I've been super active on my Instagram, but I was like, I need to film a YouTube video. So today is nothing, it's not gonna be anything like crazy. I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys because I've never really done that before. So it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna hopefully not have to edit this video. <laughs> So, um, I get a lot of questions and I kind of just wanted to briefly cover kind of like my thoughts on running and my thoughts for like my future kind of thing. So a lot of you guys ask me if I'm going to want to run in college. So obviously my bird is looking at me crazy. Obviously, um, everybody's life changes and I never really know what I'm going to want at the moment when it's time to decide, but as of right now, yeah, I would love to run in college because I love running. Running is just like, it's so fun to me and it's just something that I really, really enjoy. And so that brings me kind of to my other point that I really wanted to discuss in this video. I haven't really thought about exactly what I wanted to say on here, but um, ultimately a lot of decisions that I make are based off of what I want for like my future in running. And I try really hard to focus on like the longevity I have in running rather than, I know, I know a lot of athletes who um, just focus so, so, so much on like where they are right there right then and just like they have to get a PR like right there and for me it's more like I'm yes I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna train hard but I'm not gonna overwork myself and I think that's what a lot of athletes do they overwork themselves when they're so young and once they get older they don't really have an interest as much in running and they kind of just like burn out and obviously burnout is um, a subject that people like kind of avoid talking about in running I think at least I feel like nobody really is concerned about like, well, will this athlete be able to continue on if they want to because they're training so hard when they're young or they're putting so much mental pressure on themselves or they're not um, taking care of their body eating wise, just mental wise training, like everything. They're just not taking care of themselves and just making sure that they're doing good. They're mostly just, you know, trying to work for PRs and running is not just for PRs, guys. Running is not just for PR, it's not to just get a fast time, it's not to just place in a race, it's so many other things. It's a way to release negative energy and it's just a way to get out and move and just celebrate your body and so many different things. Like, running is just an amazing thing and we need to take advantage of that rather than just focusing on PRing and just focusing on always giving our best performance because we can't always give our, that's my bird. We can't always give our best performance, and I think that's really important for all of us to um, kind of understand. That's why when people ask me, like, hey, what's your goal for this race? Or you're going to get sub-18 for this, or you're going to win, or whatever. I'm like, nope, just going to have fun and do my best. Like, obviously, I set goals for myself, and I have goals that I want to accomplish in the future, but I don't put so much pressure on myself by telling uh, like so many others and just like having that goal, the only thing that I can do and that's the only way I'm gonna be happy is if I get that goal. That's not how my mindset is. And my mindset is more of like, I'm just gonna go out there, have fun and do my best. If I do this, that's great and that's what I would love to do. But if I don't and I do my best, then that's okay. That's really fine. Like. Life will go on and I have plenty more races in the future. And yeah, that was kind of what I wanted to talk about for that point. Okay, I also wanted to talk about, you guys asked me if I would want to run, um, and I already said I wanted to run in college and that's why I kind of like, um, that's kind of how my, my mindset is wise. I know this video is all over the place, guys, just stick with me, you got this. <laughs> so, uh, Foot Locker. I want to talk about Foot Locker because I got a lot of questions regarding Foot Locker. So, no, I did not compete in Foot Locker, and there's a lot of reasons why I didn't compete in Foot Locker. So, I was getting a lot of messages of people who were like, oh, you should do it, I'm going, or why wouldn't you want to do it, and blah, blah, blah. 
of course I wanted I want to do Foot Locker, but I also didn't want to do Foot Locker. And I felt as though a mental break from the high intensity racing was kind of needed. And I think that since I took a break from Foot Locker, that it will help me more in the future because I have so many years left of high quality races and high intensity races. Doing one race, not doing one race, I'm sorry. Not doing one race is not gonna hurt me and it's gonna be okay. And I got a lot of people just saying like, just yeah, asking me why I wouldn't wanna do it and kinda was like, oh, did you get burnt out? Or no, I didn't get burnt out at all. I'm still training right now and because I wanna do the turkey trot and finally do things that were kind of different than running because a lot of my life always revolves around running and I never get to really do a lot of things that I want to because I have to be concerned about like, well, can't get hurt, gotta be careful, gotta rest my legs, I work out. And yes, I'm still doing workouts and stuff, but I don't have to be as stressed out about um, the race that was ahead of me. So this Thanksgiving break was great. I got to hang out with my friends a lot more because I wasn't so focused on my race, <laughs> which is usually what happens. And that's one of the main reasons um, why I didn't do Foot Locker. And I got to wake up and go with my team for a long run because we are actually going to do a um, half marathon, just obviously for fun because I'm not going crazy. It's not like a big race. I'm just kind of going to do it for fun. And yeah, it's a whole thing that my team is doing. So <sighs> anyways, I hope you guys like these sit down videos because there's a few more things that I would love to talk to you guys about because my... Um, Instagram posts. Yes, I know they're very long, but there's so much more I want to say to you guys, but I can't because I have so many words and they do not fit on Instagram posts. And I know if I wrote them so long, people would not want to read them. So <laughs> I make them as short as possible. Sometimes I'll have like paragraphs after paragraphs. And I'm like, can't post this on Instagram. I gotta cut it shorter. I should probably make a blog or something, but for now, I'm just gonna make these YouTube videos and um, yeah. I also, oh, one last thing. Okay, I wanted to talk about, um, I got a lot of questions about kind of um, for females and how they um, put a lot of pressure on themselves with their bodies and things like that. And ultimately, guys, you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on training that's right for you. Like a lot of people are so focused on high mileage, high high intensity, high mileage, and that's not that's not always needed. Sometimes when you're younger, especially, you can just focus on um, what feels right to your body. If someone else is doing a ton more miles than you and you're not, that's really okay. That's fine because everybody is different. Everybody's bodies work differently. I run 20 to 25 miles a week. I went all the way down to 15 miles a week and I was still performing really high. I did quality over quantity and it really just makes a difference and makes you feel so much better and it actually gives your body um, time to recover. Like I have, I usually take off three days a week and um, it, that's just, that's what works for me. And I get made fun of all the time, but I don't really care because it works. So, and I wanted to say, make sure that you are fueling yourself properly because that will make the world of a difference in your training. Just, just be able to recover and feel good on your runs and Again, like I was saying, um, everybody's body is different, looks different, works different. Please do not compare yourself to others because everyone's different <laughs> and we can't do that to ourselves. Just be happy with um, what your body can do and what your body is like and just let it flourish in the way that it needs to. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was all over the place, but I love you guys. And tell me in the comments below any more topics that you would like me to talk about on here. Because clearly I have a lot to say. Like, I can make this video so much longer, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Amber Runs. And follow my food Instagram at Amber Runs Foods. Love you guys. Bye.